welcome to Faith Factor. My name is Pastor Nicole Bradshaw, and I'm coming to you from Faith Zone Christian Fellowship Incorporated in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Our bishop is Kiefer Bradshaw. So, Happy New Year. We're in the new year of 2014, and I want to bring you just a word of encouragement to get you through your day, whether you're at work and you're listening to me or you're at home and able to watch the video. I just want to come to you to encourage you until you can get into your sanctuaries on Sunday. I want to come this morning from James chapter 1. I want to look at verse verses 5 and 6 and verse 12. Um, again, faith factor, we're dealing with faith and, and how to develop it and to um, increase it uh, so that we can be uh, blessed and, and not only just blessed, but of great use in, in the kingdom of God. Uh, and it reads, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Verse 12 says, God blesses. Those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Isn't that an awesome word from James? Um, just encouraging us to be truthful with God and ask him for whatever we need. You know, wisdom is not just asking God to give you knowledge or understanding, but wisdom is also helping you to make um, better decisions and choices in our lives. Sometimes we find our, ourselves at a crossroad and we're not sure which way to go. That would be the point in time when we should stop and ask God, um, the best way to to go. God, where should I go left or should I go right? Um, should I say yes in this situation or should I say no? Should I stay at home or should I go out with the friends? You know, we have all kind of choices. Is this the right man for me, Lord, or should I wait? Um, is this is this the woman you have for me, God, or should I wait? You know, there are things that we need to seek God on. As Christians, we're not alone. We we God did not leave us out here to stumble in the dark and to try to figure things out. He has every answer that we need. He has um, the answer already done. He's already solved the problem. If we'll just go to him and ask him and seek answers from him, he'll guide us. He'll lead us. And the thing about God that I love so much is he'll never, ever leave you astray. He will never, ever lead you into a wall. He'll never, ever lead you into a blind spot. If we will listen to him and do what he says, do, um, and listen to only him and believe him and trust him and know him, um, then we'll never fail. We'll never fall wrong. We'll never go wrong. Um, when you're looking for a spouse or when you're looking for a job or when you're trying to determine um, your passions and your talents and your gifts and, and your calling in ministry, you know, these are things that you need to seek God about and wait on his answer. Sometimes we ask God, but we don't wait on God. Most times we ask God and then we go with whatever we feel is best because God is not answered in the time that we have allotted for him to answer. But being a sovereign God, he is time. So his time is never ours and he's never late. We're late. Uh, so we have to learn to be patient and wait on the answer. Wait on the solution. Many times because we move fast and forward and not wait on God, we tend to miss out on what was ours, our blessing. So then we have to take um, the children of Israel route, which sometimes can be that 40 year route to get to the blessing that God had for us, the promise that he had for us, because we wouldn't wait. We wouldn't listen. Uh, we wouldn't um, adhere um, to God. And sometimes in the waiting, we think it just means to sit still and, and to twiddle our thumbs, but to wait means to 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 stay in prayer and communication with God, to develop that relationship with God so that when he does speak, your ears are so sensitive that you can hear him. Your heart is so sensitive to him that you know that he's near and you know that it's him and you don't have to question, is it God or is it me? Because your relationship with God is so intimate and you're so in tune to him that you never miss his voice. And you don't have to question. You know you're God. Um, from a counterfeit God. 
So I just want to to come to you today and encourage you to just wait on God and, and seek God for your answers. It's it's so much easier to call someone on the phone. It's so much easier to, to take someone else's opinion. It's so much easier to go with what someone else believes or whatever they did or, or what mom and them said do or what auntie and uncle said do. But I, I, I beg of you today to seek God for the answer and believe him. You know, in the scripture that we read, it said, it said, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone and do not waver. Um, don't be like that wave that's tossed and, and that you're to the left and to the right. Don't be that straddler where sometimes you believe and sometimes you don't. Uh, if you go to God and ask him something, believe that he is God and he'll do just what you've asked him to do. Now, understand when you ask him that again, don't put God in a time box where if he doesn't answer me in five minutes or 25 minutes, um, um, if, if the first lender said no, um, I'm just not going to apply anymore. If if the first interview didn't go well, I just want to apply for another position. You know, give God the opportunity to move in your life and do the miraculous things that he does. Because where you went may not have been where he wanted you to go. It may not have been where he had the assigned angel to bless you and to favor you. So we have to learn to, to tune in to God and hear his voice um, and, and, and be faith. Have that strong faith in God. No that he is God. Know that he will answer. Know that he is a promise keeper. How are you going to know these things? How are you going to know that you know that you know? By staying in the word of God, by staying in constant communication, that's prayer with God, never ever leaving his side, desiring God, hungering for his word more and more. You know, we're living in a busy time and, and, and there's so much going on and we've got work and some of us have kids and spouses and church and 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 extracurricular activities, um, um, outreach activities that we do, and 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 we're just busy, busy, busy all the time. And the more busy we've become, the enemy rejoices because we don't have time for God. I plead with you today: make time for God this week in 2014. Draw closer to Him than you ever have before. Be closer to God in 2014 than you were in 2013. Add extra prayer time. Add extra study time. And and. See See, won't God move mightily on your behalf? As a Christian, as a believer, one of the benefits we have is the ability to ask God for something, to ask him for wisdom. According to James, we can ask him and he will answer us because we are his. But uh, the 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 but in this situation is we have to believe we must have faith. We must know that he is God. We must know that he is a promise keeper, that he would do according to his word and that we must um, have that faith. We must have that relationship with God. Um, and in closing, I just want to say this, that relationship um, that you have with God will open so many other doors for you. It will give you a um, clearer insight to things. You will have a clearer vision, a clearer um, opinion, a, a clearer hearing, um, clearer mind frame. Your heart heart will be clearer things that you may have been holding on to and, and, and things that may have happened in your life before that have caused you hurt and distress and, and may cause you to be in the box and the shell and the bondage that you are in. That relationship with God will free you from all of those things. Um, God will begin to show you things um, uh, about yourself that you never knew your strengths. He'll begin to, sh to show you the things that you are capable of doing. He'll be that encourager in your life. Um, so I plead with you today, know him. Know him. Know that he will not fail. Know that even though he doesn't come in my appointed time, he is coming. He will answer because he's God and he cannot lie. I thank you for allowing me to come into your home, into your office today, into your ear today to bring you a word of encouragement to hold you and keep you to hopefully be a life changing experience in your life um, until you can get into your sanctuaries. I beg of you, if you do not have a sanctuary, if you do not fellowship um, in, in a body of Christ, in a church, in a ministry, please find one. Um, if, if you don't have one and you're in the Winston-Salem, Greensboro, High Point area, please stop by Faith Zone Christian Fellowship Incorporated. We're at 3650 L. Patterson Avenue in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. You can reach us at 336 744 4414. And, and please check our website out. It's www.faithzoneministries.org. Check us out. We'll be more than happy to have you. We'd love to hear from you. And just, I'd love to hear from you just to find out how the video has impacted your life. I just thank you so much. And let me close out in prayer. 
Heavenly Father, I just thank you today, Lord, for allowing us, God, to be able to come to you with whatever, God, we need. Father, if it's wisdom, God, we thank you that we can lean and depend on you for that. Father, give us the faith that we need that will not shrink. Help us, God, to not um, straddle the fence. Help us not to be wavering in our faith, but to stand strong and know you. Father, I ask that you will help us, God, to be closer to you in this new year. Help us, God, to, to study more and to read more that we may be the Christians that you have called us to be in these last days. In Jesus' name we pray. I thank you again for joining me. Have a very, very blessed week. Hallelujah. And there will be victory.